You say a group of 13 students indicated how long it take, how long it took in hours before their cell phones, batteries uh, required recharging. The information is given in the table below. So this is the information. Uh, they say which the time is in hours. Okay? So other learners, they said which it took them five hours. Okay. And then other learners said it took them eight hours. And then they say, calculate the value of y if the mean is 41. So what should we do here, Tabiso? Yeah, so y. We want y, yeah. So to calculate the D, D, 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus 72. So we're going to add this one plus this one. Yeah. Okay, plus this one, plus this one. Okay, we can put that in our calculator. So if we add all these things here, what do we what did we get? So we have five, five plus eight, ne? plus ten, plus seventeen, plus twenty, plus twenty-nine, plus thirty-two, plus forty-eight, plus fifty, plus fifty. Plus sixty three. What? One zero seven. Okay. Why? Why is not a light term? We can't add it. Eh? So we're going to say which. Okay. Plus plus one oh seven. Okay. And then we get four hundred and thirty nine. What should I do with this table? So number one, I will say four hundred and thirty nine plus y is equal to forty one. Like this. Is oh, this yeah over 10. All over 13. So when you add, you are also going to say for us to get the mean, we're going to divide by the total number. Okay? And then the total number here is what it's 13. So you cross multiply. Okay, if you cross multiply, what do you get? So you say 13 multiplied by 41. It's it says. 439 plus y is going to be 5, 533. Okay. What should I do from here? Okay. We take this one to this other side. Okay? It says which y is going to be equal to? It's 533 minus 439. And then it says which is going to be 94. Okay. For a question like this one, they are going to give you two marks or three marks. Uh, times one, not done, not done. <laughs> okay, let's go to number two then. On number two, they say, um, if y, if y is equal to ninety four, just in case we do, you couldn't get it again. Okay? Yeah, this is a good examination question. Uh, hey, 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 this is a good examination question because they tell us which. Just in case you couldn't get this, now we are telling you with this one here it's ninety four. They say calculate the standard deviation. How are you going to go about uh, to get the standard deviation? Okay, let's go to the calculator. So I'm going to have a mode, né? okay? Three, one. Okay, we put in the data. Né? So we have five equals two. We have eight. Né? We have 10, 17, 20, 20 29. Né? And then 32, okay, 48, and then 50, no? 50 again, 63, okay, 95, 94, equals to, okay, there are 13 all in all. No? Okay, we store our data. <clears throat> uh, what should I do after this service? I press AC no? and then shift one, four, number three. And then it says zero. I need to press equals two. No? And then it says which the standard deviation is going to be written as it's 30,94. No? Okay, then we write that one down to say which the standard deviation is 30,94. Okay.
And then let's, the last one, <clears throat> they say which we should, okay, standard deviation are going to get two marks for that. No? And then let's just put which, they said standard deviation, it's going to be equal to, you said what? It's 30 comma nine four. No? So this is going to be 30 comma nine four. Okay, so you get two marks for this one here, tell me. <clears throat> They say, how many students' cell phone require recharging within within one standard deviation? How do you go about doing number three? Yeah. We're going to say one standard, they say one standard deviation again. So since they're talking about one standard deviation, we're going to put it on a number line. If you put it on a number line, we're supposed to have, uh, first, you are going to have mean minus standard deviation. So you have the mean minus the standard deviation, which is one of them, they said one. And then here you're going to have mean plus standard deviation. And then what do we get for this one? This is number three. Then you say here you have 10 comma zero six, no? okay? And then what you get for the plus one? You see, it's 71 comma nine four. Okay, so what did you say here? You said this was 41, okay? Plus, oh, 41 minus, yeah. So if you say 41 minus 30, 94, and then this side, you said you have 41 plus 30, 94. Okay, sure. So we want the ones which are going to be within. So let's check five. Is five within? Five, it's outside, okay? And then eight. It's still outside, it's still somewhere here. 10, it's still below the standard deviation. What about 17? It's within 20, within 29, within 32, within 48, 50, 63, within 94, outside. And then 107, Outside. Yeah? So all in all, how many do we have outside? We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. All in all, how many values do you have? You have 13 again. Okay? Minus the one which are five, which are outside. Okay? So how many are you going to have within eight? You can also count them here. Yeah? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh? Yeah? Or plus 50 again. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the ones which are within, they are going to be actually to be eight. The question could have been said, uh, how many are outside? Okay? How many are outside the standard deviation? It's five. Okay. How many are above standard one standard deviation? How many are below one standard deviation? Okay. Thank you, Tabby. So we can give Tabby a round of applause. <laughs>